you already read the title, so let's get into it. To begin, I'm gonna head into textures.com and look for a texture of a plant that I like. By the way, making an account there is free and you get to download 15 pictures per day. So I ended up going with this. You can pick whatever you like, uh, it doesn't really matter. Next, I'm gonna drag and drop it in Krita. You can use any picture editing software that you like. And I'm gonna press Ctrl Alt I to change the resolution. I'm gonna input 64 for the width. This makes it nice and pixelated. So I'm gonna go into filter, uh, adjust color adjustment curves and change the RGBA to alpha to change the opacity of our picture. I'm just gonna click in the middle and drag up. It doesn't really matter. With that done, I'm gonna press Control Shift S to save and I'm gonna save it as .png, wherever you like. Here it is, so I've just reduced the resolution. So I'm just gonna go into Blender. Here's a brand new project, which I'm gonna delete everything by selecting all and pressing X to delete. Next, I'm gonna head into Edit, Preference, Add-ons, and I'm gonna search for Images as Planes. This is a free add-on. It is shipped with Blender. Just, uh, if it's not, just turn it on. So we're ready to begin. I'm gonna press Shift A for add, and I'm gonna to go to image, images as planes. And I'm gonna open up the image that we saved, the low resolution one. So here it is. I'm gonna hold Z to go to the shading menu and go to material preview so we can see it. Right now it is blurry and all our sharp pixels are gone, so we're gonna fix that. To fix that, we're gonna head into the shading menu. And uh, here's our image texture connected to our BSDF, right? To fix the blurriness, we're gonna go into linear and change it to the closest. This way we get our pixels back. And uh, we're done with the shading. We're gonna go back to layout and here it is. So I'm gonna select our model. I'm gonna press R to rotate X and 90 degrees, type out 90, to rotate it 90 degrees on the X axis. I'm gonna press numpad one to change the upfront orthographic view, and I'm gonna move it up and a little bit to the left so it's centered. And we can see that the uh, origin point is kind of up there, we want it where the 3D cursor is at the bottom. If the 3D cursor is not at the center, you can shift S and set the world origin, it will set there. And uh, next, we'll right click on our model and set origin to 3D cursor. So the origin is at the bottom there. I'm gonna press shift D to duplicate, and without clicking anywhere, I'm gonna press R to rotate. I'm gonna press Z to confine it on the Z axis and type out 120 to rotate it 120 on the Z axis. And now we can press Shift R to repeat the last action, which is gonna duplicate it again and rotate it 120 degrees again. So as you can see, it's kind of weird. They're clipping to each other. So we're just gonna go into material properties and scroll all the way to the bottom till we find the blend mode. And we're gonna change it from alpha blend to alpha clip. And hopefully that will fix the issue. So at this point, we're kind of done. You can just tweak it to your liking. But uh, a few things we're gonna do. First thing, now that we're in the material properties, we're gonna ramp up the roughness to one, so it's not shiny at all. And also, uh, we are gonna decrease the specular to zero. Next, I'm gonna box select all of them and press Ctrl J to join them all into a single object. And we're basically done, but if you want, I would like to duplicate it again. Press R to rotate, Z to confine it on the Z axis, and rotate it by 30 degrees. So 
basically duplicating it again and it looks fuller this way and uh, here's another project that I downloaded this simple pick and I uh, kind of made it a, you know really simple tree with it which I'm gonna use in the distance in my game also if you haven't already Mises is, is, has a great video on how to make PS1 style graphics be sure to check that one out uh, he talks about a lot of concepts in there which will be useful to you and uh, yeah link in the description just check it out so that's it for this video i think uh drop a like if you enjoyed goodbye